Welcome to The Idea Space, a podcast devoted to sharing strategies and tools to help you make your dream life possible. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, a teacher turned entrepreneur. It's my mission to help women grow their businesses and get what they want without feeling guilty, overwhelmed, or confused. If you're tired of your ideas spinning around your mind and you really want something more for yourself, you're in the right place. Learn how to create the space to make your ideas a reality. I promise if I can do this, anyone can. Let's go. Hey there, welcome to the Idea Space Podcast. I'm your host, Jen Liddy. This month, it's May 2020, and I'm talking about all things marketing and how to think more creatively about marketing. What happens with a lot of people is I say marketing and they think social media or they think pamphlets and flyers. And I want you to start to think about marketing as anything that you're doing where you're talking about your business and trying to convey what you do, who you help, what you offer to somebody else. Today, I want to start with a story uh, from back in the day when my husband was an executive and I was a teacher, and I never, ever, ever liked the idea of his business building nonsense back in those days. So as a teacher, remember, like I taught high school, then I taught college. And what I did was I would go to school, I would teach the kids, I would grade the papers, I would come home, the end, right? Like I had a job and I knew what I needed to do and I was always prepared for it, but there was no growth or marketing of my of myself that I needed to do, right? It was a job. But my husband had a very different type of job. He was an executive and so he had to market himself and network himself. And so he, I'm I'm putting air quotes around this, have to go out for drinks, dinners, golf games, et cetera. And I, and I'm talking back in the day, I would roll my eyes so hard at him. And he'd be like, Jen, this is business. What do you think happens out there? We're building relationships. That's how business works. And it was complete BS to me. It made me want to like stick my tongue out and blow raspberries at him. Actually, sometimes it made me want to stick a fork in my eye or his eye, or actually really his boss's eye, because I was really like blamey about the whole thing. And I didn't understand business at all. I was a teacher. Now I completely get it. If you're not building relationships, you're not building a business. And though doing it via golf would be my personal version of hell, there are tons of ways to build relationships online and in real life. For example, there are networking groups, you know, memberships that you can belong to both online and in real life. You know, I love to do it with coffees and one-on-one conversations. I belong to a couple of masterminds. There's just a lot of ways to build relationships with people. And when you're building relationships, I want you to start to understand this is a way that you are marketing yourself. And I really want to take the sting out of this idea about marketing because it doesn't have to be pushy or yucky or aggressive. It just has to be clear. And one of the things that I notice in a monthly marketing group that I belong to, it's actually, it's a networking group, not a marketing group. It's been a powerful way to build my business and build relationships. And at the end of every meeting, we meet once a month, uh, everybody gets to stand up and briefly, briefly, briefly introduce herself to the other 50 to 75 women in the room. You can imagine how long that would take if people went on and on and on and weren't clear. And I kind of hold my breath every month because though I will be standing up to say what I have to say, I'm not nervous about what I have to say. I'm mindful about it. I don't want to screw it up, but I know how to introduce myself. But I notice that many people don't know how to introduce themselves. And it's a really important skill to gain because however you, how you, how you clearly present yourself is what people will walk away understanding about you and your business. And no matter how you build relationships, whether it's standing up at a monthly networking group or one-on-one in a coffee, or you're pitching yourself via a message and asking to have a, have a connection with somebody, there's one thing that every single person needs to work on if they, especially if they're building a business is how clearly we present ourselves. So going back to this, this monthly meeting that I go to, I listen as many women and not just women who are new to business, women who are established in their business, they stumble through their introductions. 
And here's what some do. They ramble on, they give way too much information to the point where people stop listening, frankly. Um, other people are very vague. They give, they fail to give a clear sense of who she helps or what she actually does. And so people walk away confused. Um, other women are, they, it's clear they would rather be invisible. This is like the worst part of the evening for them. Maybe you're thinking that as I'm talking, you're like, oh my God, I would never want to stand up and introduce myself to 50 other people. And it's painful to watch because I know they have so much value to share, but they just don't know what to say. It doesn't have to be hard. Even if you're an introvert, even if you're shy, it doesn't have to be hard. And then the last group of women, how can I say this? They're kind of like a sprinkler gone mad. They're the kind of woman who says, I do this and I do that, but I really want to be doing this. So the next version of my business will be that. And what happens is like they kind of fire hose people with all of their, all of their thoughts about their business. They're they're like kind of revealing all the layers for this group. People can't handle that. They're listening, right? And they, they tune out. So clarity is the number one thing I teach my students and my clients about growing their business. Because entrepreneurs are enthusiastically creative people, they want to share all the things with you. And here's why. Entrepreneurs solve problems. They can help you. So when you stand up in front of a group or you're just in a conversation with one other person, you really want them to understand who you are, what you do, who you help. You want that other person nodding their head saying, oh, yes, my God, exactly. I know the exact person you could help. My sister needs to talk to you. Or as you're describing your business and the person that you help, you want that other person you're talking to to say, you just described my best friend. I need to put her in touch with you. Or, whoa, my business partner struggles with that. I'm going to give her your card. But when you stand up in front of a group of people or even one person and you fumble for what to say, you say too much, you say too little, you confuse your audience, you've lost an amazing opportunity. Because guess what? Your introduction, your pitch, your bio, even your profile on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram, your about page on your website, all of it is content. All of it is messaging. All of that is marketing. So please stop thinking that content equals social media. How do you pitch yourself? How do you describe who you help? How do you share your offers? All of this is content messaging and so social media is simply one aspect of it. And if you want to grow your business, it's time to nail down your messaging, including how you introduce yourself. And sometimes you can't see what's in your way because of the layers in your head about all the things going on in your business. Like you're thinking about where you used to be and where you started and where you are now and where you want to go. And sometimes that gets you, you're thinking muddled and you may be overwhelming fire hosing or confusing your audience because you're giving them too much information or you're simply not giving them enough information. And either way you will lose them. And so that this is something I really want you to think about. How can you gain clarity in your messaging so that your content and that your marketing, because remember, marketing is everywhere. Marketing is everything that is important. So this is why I built my four-week customized content solution workshop. And the reason I did it was to create, help people create a foundation, a bank of messaging so that they can get clear on who they help what those people need to hear from you, and how to show up regularly for them. And then once you have that kind of clarity, it's so much easier to share your intro, your bio, your pitch, your business, everything becomes so much easier. And I wanted to invite you to join us because everything, the success of your business is based on the clarity of the messaging you share. Because if people don't understand who you help and how you help them, they are gone. And so everything from your website to blogs and articles and podcasts, yes, social posts, but also verbal communication requires you to be clear about who you help. So I'm offering this program for a four week session. It's offered live this time. I'm not going to offer it live again until the fall. This time I'm offering it at a nice price In the fall, I'm going to be expanding it and offering it a higher price. So grab your seat now. And please, 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 if if you do anything, stop thinking that your people 
don't want to hear from you. Your ideal client is literally waiting for you to share with her how you can help her. Don't hide from her. Be clear, share your, share your brilliance and show up for your audience. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next week. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the Idea Space in your podcast app and tell that friend of yours who needs some help getting where she wants to go. I'd be so appreciative if you left a review because then we can help more women create the space for their ideas too. Go to jenliddy.com forward slash free to grab the many free resources there to help you move forward. And I will see you next time. Bye.